Hey, I'm Janice, and are you cramming for an exam and looking for some tips? So these tips will work for you whether you're in middle school, high school, college, or maybe you're a professional and you need to take a test like I did when I worked in finance. I had to take the Series 7, the Series 63. These tips will work for you. So I'm Janice, you're watching Sharp Cookie. This channel is all about studying, learning, and test taking. I post new videos every week, so please subscribe, hit the bell to be notified. All right, so let's get into it. The video is all about cramming. But what I wanna say before I get into the tips is that I don't actually recommend cramming. I've studied a lot about how the brain learns and how it works best, and when it comes to learning, cramming is not how the brain likes to learn. The brain likes repetition over an extended period of time. Cramming is the exact opposite. It's trying to shove information in at the last minute. So if you can avoid it, I recommend avoiding it. But you're probably here because you have no choice. And we've all been there, myself included. So I'm gonna give you tips that really work with your brain and we're gonna do the best we can when you have to cram. Tip number one is prioritize. So by definition, when you're cramming, you don't have the time and the luxury to just memorize everything and know every detail about every little thing. It's not going to happen. But we can maximize our time and get the best grade we can for the shortest amount of effort put into it by prioritizing the most important topics. So what I like to do is, and what I tell my students is look at past tests, look at past homeworks and quizzes, and notice what is most heavily tested on and study those first. This flows really nicely into my second tip, which is stay organized. Now, the number one thing that happens when people cram is they go into this frenzy. And I had a roommate like this in college, and I hope she's not watching, but if she is, she knows she gets a little crazy, where the stress and the anxiety start to build up and organization goes right out the window. But in fact, you have to be more organized when you're doing things last minute. <laughs> you don't have the luxury to just like schedule everything out and have a lot of time to study over two weeks. So as part of my prioritizing, I also want you to stay organized and say, okay, what are the subtopics I need to learn and have a whole outline of priorities and then subtopics within those priorities that you need to study and learn. Tip number three is stay calm, okay? I said this a little bit in tip number two, but I wanna drive it home. If you're frenzied and have a lot of anxiety, it's only gonna hurt your studying process. You need to stay calm. So don't waste time talking to friends, talking to family members, and just stressing and reiterating how behind you are and how much you need to learn. That only makes things worse. So get a good mindset, stop thinking about how much of a failure you are, stop putting yourself down or going through a guilt trip talking about how unprepared you are, and instead go back to your organized list, stay focused on that, and focus on what you can do. I'm a big proponent of not focusing on the things you can't change. So you can't change the fact that you waited till the last minute. What you can change is your organization and the mindset that you bring to what you're doing. Now, if you have especially high anxiety, what I recommend is always going from easy to hard. So start with a topic that you know is going to be on the test. It's high priority, but it's also something that you feel very confident about, that you feel with a little bit of studying, you can catch up to it pretty quickly. Do not start with the hardest thing that's going to be on the test. What does that do? It slows you down, it kills your confidence, and it creates even more anxiety. So start with something short and easy that you know you can handle. Tip number four. This one is counterintuitive. We all wanna do that all-nighter thing where we just study for hours on end and don't sleep and drink a lot of coffee and like me, eat chocolate and eat half a box of cereal. Don't do that. Get enough sleep. 
I know, I know, how can you sleep when you're feeling anxious about this test? But it's so important. What you need for this test is for your logic and reasoning skills to be intact so that even if you don't know the answer, you can at least give something somewhat intelligent or make a pretty good guess. If you haven't slept, there is no way you're going to be able to say or do anything intelligent. Your brain is going to be like mush. Tip number five. Repetition. The way our brain works is it remembers and learns through repetition. And that's why cramming is not ideal. When you have more time, you can repeat something day after day after day and put it into your long-term memory. Once something's in your long-term memory, it never goes away. I still remember pop songs that I used to sing from fifth grade every day at recess. Why? Because we did them every single day and it's not going to go away because it's in my long-term memory. So if you want to get something, maybe you don't have time to get into your long-term memory, but you can work towards it. And we do that through repetition. So if you have your notes, say them out loud or write them down over and over and over again. If it's math and there's a problem you need to solve, solve the same thing, put different numbers in, solve it again, change the numbers again, solve it again. Repetition, repetition, repetition. Tip number six is spread out the times that you're studying. So I know you're cramming and you don't have that many days to spread things out. Maybe you only have one day. But even if you only have one day, I want you to spread your studying out over the course of the day. It's much better to study one hour in the morning, do something else, go to class, go to the gym, whatever you do for a couple hours, come back to it, do another hour, go run an errand, go have lunch with a friend, come back to it, do another hour. That's what you need to do. That's how your brain learns the best is when you're spreading it out and not trying to do five hours straight where you're just sitting and trying to learn one thing. All right, great job on making it this far. I know you don't have a lot of time because you're cramming, but this one is very important. So here is my last tip. My last tip, tip number seven, is read your notes right before you go to bed. Literally right before. It should be the last thing you do before you close your eyes to go to sleep. So when you're laying there in bed, you have your little nightlight on, don't look at your phone, don't respond to texts or look at emails. Read your notes. And I'll tell you why. While you sleep, your brain is making connections and learning. So it's really important that the la- the very last thing you do right before you close your eyes is you look at your notes and set the intention that you want to learn it or you want to memorize it. All right, great job. You made it through all my tips. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave me a comment below. Let me know, how did these tips go for you? Are you a crammer? Is this unusual for you? Uh, I know I used to cram a lot in college, and then the older I got, the less I wanted to cram, and the more I liked starting really early. So maybe this depends on age and maturity. I don't know. But let me know how cramming goes for you. If you're interested in more learning, studying, and test-taking advice, check out my other videos on these topics. Also, join my Facebook community. I go on there and I answer your questions and give you free advice on any of these topics, so check that out. I also do online tutoring. If you're interested in that, email me at hellosharpcookie at gmail.com. All right, that's it. Please think about subscribing. I post new videos every week. I promise there's something valuable there for you. This is Janice. You're watching Sharp Cookie. Thanks.